does metformin damage kidneys? Now, that question is common. I keep hearing that the metformin is bad for your kidneys. Does metformin damage kidneys, they're asking. Short answer, no, not directly. Metformin does not damage your healthy kidneys. But if you have other issues going on, metformin can be dangerous in kidney disease. Metformin is not necessarily a kidney poison. It's just that does not physically damage the kidney tissue, as far as we know. It just can accumulate when you have kidney disease. So we recommend people to consider using alternatives such as berberine in those cases. So why people get confused? Well, because we lower the metformin dose as doctors, right, when kidney function is low, and that kidney function go down as you age, especially with diabetes. So we have to adjust your medications, and one of them is the metformin. And kidneys, patients look at their kidneys, and they're like, hey, my kidney is down, I'm on metformin, doctor is cutting on the metformin, so it must be the metformin causing the damage. But it's actually because metformin can build up, and in rare cases, it can cause lactic acidosis. So that's why doctors are often careful when a GFR is low. There are some studies out there that can potentially affect kidney function, but that's not so much proven as much as the safety data. So the reality check is that diabetes itself is what destroys your kidneys over time. Metformin helps some people. It doesn't always help. It has a lot of side effects. We talked about this a lot in the past, but that is what you can afford. Just don't think that you're killing your kidneys just being on metformin. Should I be on metformin with my current kidney function? Well, I would say just because you have have a little bit lower kidney function doesn't mean that you have to stop it right away. You can reduce the dose, you can add on some berberine like sugar MD super berberine, but you don't have to freak out and stop it altogether. Now, if you stopped it and your blood sugar didn't change, maybe you didn't need it to begin with, so that's fine. The trial and error is okay as well, as long as you're in consultation with your doctor.